Inside this video, I'll show you how to set up interactive cards for your in-stream video ads. All right, so this next one is pretty cool. It gives you a lot of flexibility and options for creating really nice call to actions inside your in-stream video ads. Let me flick over to my screen to show exactly what I'm talking about. Over here, you'll see a video where I actually have a, an interactive card or just a card already set up for this video. If I hit the play button here, you'll see it popping up here at the top right when this arrow comes. Boom, there it is. Click here for free report. If you click on it, you'll see some nice pictures here. And if I click on that, that'll of course go to my landing page. Very cool. So that's basically how these interactive cards look once you've set them up. So what I'm gonna do now is actually set one up for you live so that you can do it all for yourself. All right, so back to my screen. What you're gonna to have to do is go to your video. So you do this actually inside video, uh, inside YouTube and not inside AdWords. So you go to your video in your channel and then as you're watching it down at the bottom, there'll be a little cards icon over there with a little eye in it, this one here. If I click on that, it'll take me to the interface where I can add my cards. So all you gotta do now is make sure you get to the point where your call to action is. In this case, for this video, it's all around about 21 seconds, 22 seconds. Let's see, there's 19. Let's see if I hit, if I let it play, and wait for the arrow to come, boom, there it is. So this is actually one of the templates inside V-Roll that we're using uh, for the cards uh, call to actions. And this arrow points conveniently to the eye there. And this works on both desktop and mobile, it's pretty cool. So all I've got to do now is add a little card. Uh, and you've got to add an associated website here, of course, you can't just add any link. In this case, it is for splashio.com. I think that's all I have to do there and it should find it, there we go. So there's the URL and what I can do here now is I can have a little bit of a, um, a heading, something like, um, you know, get your free uh, report, something like that. And the call to action, well, there's two calls to action. One is for the, the little bit that pops out of the card to the left of the little eye. And the other one is inside the actual card, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just gonna say something like here, click here for free report. I actually like using pretty much exactly the same call to action for both of them. Once you hit create card, it'll go ahead and create that for you. And there you go, there you see there's the call to action text. If I click on that, there's the other call to action text at the bottom there. And there's the title of uh, the, the card for this particular one. Now you can also change the image there. If I just add another one so I can show you. If I add another one here, we'll do splash here again. And what's quite nice here is, let's just say you can change this to whatever. Let's go, um, that's quite a nice one, call to action. There we go, so call to action again. And here's for your, mess, for your image, you can either upload an image or select any one that is automatically taken from your website. So that looks really nice. So there's two calls to actions there. Actually, I'll delete one of them. And I think it was this one here that we will delete just to make sure that we only have one there. And there we go. So if I click on that, there's a nice image. Click on that, it'll go all the way to my landing page. So inside V-Roll, uh, what you've got to do to make this happen is go ahead to the create area and go to the um, the cards option. At the moment, we don't have them here just yet, uh, but we'll have a cards set of template as well that'll help you create nice animations like this one here. Very cool. So it's just an arrow that points up to the eye and gets people to go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and visit your website. How cool is that? Pretty easy, right? So you don't actually have to do anything else inside AdWords to make that happen. Um, if you want to track that particular link, to your associated website in the cards. Um, they will get counted inside AdWords, but if you also wanna see what's happening, you can also use a UTM link and track it through Google Analytics. That's a little bit more advanced, so Google that if you don't quite know how all that works. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you inside my next video. Bye-bye.